So this is going to be a short um, mini lecture on the periodic table, uh, elements, atoms, compounds, and a little bit about how to decipher chemical formula. So first of all, before you here, you see um, the periodic table. And there's also um, one of these that you can download uh, in this page in your course, so you have a copy of it. So the periodic table is an amazing document. It's actually the probably the most powerful cheat sheet ever invented in the history of the human race. Um, so why is this thing so uh, useful or so powerful? Well, contained printed on this single table is a list of every single uh, building block that you will find in the entire universe. Not just on Earth, not just in biology, but you can go anywhere in the universe and there will not be anything that is not made out of some combination of these roughly 110 ingredients. It's, um, it's hard to think about. I mean, so what I'm saying is that you could go to Pluto and you wouldn't find anything on Pluto that wasn't made out of this stuff. How do I know that? Because have I ever been to Pluto? No, I have not. Um, but there's uh, some rules and things that the periodic table follows that make it basically uh, impossible for anything else to exist outside of these, um, these substances. And these substances we call elements. And you can see on here that they have um, Instead of having to write out their whole name, because, you know, we're scientists, sometimes we don't like to write, we use abbreviations. So instead of writing out the whole name, uh, we use a, a letter abbreviation. So C for carbon, for example, or um, LI for lithium. Now, um, when you write these abbreviations down, uh, the first one is always capitalized. And if it's a single letter like C for carbon, uh, it's always going to be capitalized. If it's a, a two-letter one, like lithium or beryllium or magnesium, the first letter is always uppercase and the second letter is always lowercase. It's not correct to write them. Um, so let me see if I can make my little annotation thing work. So here's beryllium up here. Uh, let me make my pencil a different color here. Uh, so if we go to beryllium right here, we can see that it's a uh, BE. Uh, so if we were going to write down beryllium, we have to write, this isn't working, oh well, I tried. We have to write an uppercase B and a lowercase E. To write an uppercase B and an uppercase E would be incorrect. And the reason for that is that, for example, if I wanted to write down um, silicone, which is S-I, I would write an uppercase S and a lowercase I. If I wrote S I like that, I would mean sulfur and iodine. All right, so that's why we, to, to know that this is silicone and not sulfur and iodine, we have to use the um, lowercase for the second letter. So I hope that makes sense for that part. Um, so these are what we call elements. Um, and elements are basically the simplest building blocks of the universe. Uh, these things cannot be broken down any further. Iron is iron. You can't break it down into anything smaller than iron, um, particles of iron, so or, or hydrogen or magnesium or beryllium. These are standalone things. And everything in the universe is made of these 110 roughly ingredients including whatever you're looking at right now. So you might be sitting there looking at a phone, looking at a computer, sitting on a, sitting at a table. Uh, that table, the computer, the phone, your hand, your brain, um, anything you can see, the walls, the door, all that stuff is made from these basic building blocks. Um, so if everything is made from the same basic stuff, why is everything so different? How come a table is a table? And how come you are you? You're made of the same basic things. Well, it's, you kind of have to think about this like Lego blocks. I can take a whole bunch of Lego blocks. They're all the same kind of basic things. They're the ones that are two by three and two by two and long skinny ones that are eight by one, different shapes, <laughs> Legos. And I can take that pile of Legos and I can build it into a castle. 
All right, but then I can disassemble that castle back down to the building blocks and I can reassemble it in a totally different way and I can build a race car from the same blocks. And the difference between the castle and the race car is not the actual blocks that I used, but it's the numbers of each type and the arrangements, how I stuck them all together. I was able to create different things and that's what's going on in, in chemistry and biology. I've taken these same things and I put them together in one way and I can build a table. I can put them together in another way and I can build a computer or I can put them together in another way and I can build a human body. And so that's why uh, understanding a little bit of basic chemistry is really important for biology.